All right, now we're doing 7Q mumbling. This is by G964, and 80, excuse me, 90 percent of people like it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this string, we're gonna break it up, and we're going to put uh, what is it? We're gonna put, we're gonna turn whatever uh, the character is uppercase, and then per index we're gonna repeat uh, the character uh, however many times. How, like however many times the uh, index is. So like we'll repeat it zero here, repeat it one here, repeat two here, repeat three here. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, so let's start off by uh, declaring some variables. And we're going to uh, let uh, result equal an empty string, all right? And then we're also going to let, uh, excuse me, let array equal uh, s dot to lower case dot split by the characters in between the excuse me by the spaces in between the characters. Uh, let me bust out uh, to lowercase for you. Just turns anything to lowercase, and then there's also split. Uh, and this method takes a pattern and uh, divides a string into an ordered list of substrings by searching for the pattern putting the substrings into an array and returning the array right uh, and so we're just gonna split it by the uh, spaces in between the characters I right, like that alright so we got that for array now we're going to do uh, four we're gonna say let i equals zero and uh, we're going to say uh, when i is less than array dot length, we're going to say i plus plus. All right, so that's just going to have us iterate through it uh, right like that. And so the thing we're going to do right now is we're going to uh, change uh, array at whatever uh, cur the current index is to uh, an uppercase letter. So we're going to say uh, what are we going to say? We're going to say array excuse me no we're not we're going to say result dot push and we're not dot push what am i talking about plus equals array at the current index dot not, i'm just messing up on this one dot uh to upper case right and you can imagine to uppercase it makes it uppercase <laughs> alright so now we're going to do another for loop and we're going to uh, iterate through again but this time we're going to make it uh, we're going to make the uh, letters the characters repeat uh, per the index if that's how we say it uh, so we've got the result plus equals there now we're going to say for and we're going to let j equal i because we're going to need j to be, uh, I think, greater than zero, greater than zero. While j is greater than zero, we're going to say j minus minus. So whatever uh, index it is, like let's say it's at index uh, one, it's going to say uh, it's going to do it, do what we're going to do one time, and then uh, once it gets down to zero, it's not going to do it anymore. All right. Uh, so what we're going to do here. Is we're going to say result plus equals the uh, what is it array at i all right so it's just going to repeat it like let's say it's all the way up to like let's say it's this one here it's going to repeat it one two three four five six times and then it's going to come out of that come back up here and then do this one but we also got to deal with these hyphens all right so outside of this for loop uh, and I think, let me see, yeah, just outside of this for loop, we're going to do an if statement. Uh, and we're going to say if, uh, or, excuse me, i is less than array dot length minus one, because we're not going to put one here, all right? We're going to say uh, result plus equals a hyphen all right so it's going to go in here do this 
X number of times and then throw a hyphen on there, go back up, do the next letter, blah, 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 all the way until it returns the result. Let's see if this works. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Result, result, result. Returns result. That's not what we do. All right. That looks good. Attempt it. All right, let's see what we got. All the way. 44 milliseconds. Well, we've got some concise syntax to uh, try out. Maybe it'll uh, go a little faster. Maybe it'll go slower. Who knows? We'll see in a second. But let's uh, change this to const. All right. And then we're going to say equals s. And then we're going to turn all this into an arrow. All right. Let's start on the next line. So I've got some room. You can just, uh, you know what to do. Anyway, so we're right here we're going to say um, s dot, whoops, that's not dot, dot two lowercase dot, whoops, dot split, just like we did on the last one, right? And now we're going to do the map method. And map is... Uh, the method that creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in that calling array. So basically, it, like here, it's got uh, x times 2. Uh, so every one of these elements we're going to multiply by 2, and the new array is going to be 2, 8, 18, 32 from 1, 4, 9, and 16. All right. And uh, the syntax we're going to use is this map with element index and then the arrow and then the expression. All right. We're going to use the element uh, for the, uh, what was it, like the array.i from the last one, and then the index we're going to use as the uh, repeater, all right? So let's go up here, and we might as well get uh, repeat open, but we'll go back to this in a second. All right, so we're going to do dot map. And like I said, we're doing element and index as the arguments. And we're going to have the arrow right there. And uh, we're going to do here, we're going to say element dot to upper case that uh, plus, and then we're going to say uh, element to uppercase plus element dot, let me go down one because we're running out of room, element dot uh, repeat we're going to do that index amount of times and if you can't guess uh what is this uh the repeat method constructs and returns a new string which contains a specified number of copies of the string on which it was called concatenated together all right so it just is going to repeat it index amount of times all right and then we're going to join it back together we didn't do join yet i don't think uh so we're going to say join and the join method is basically the opposite of the split method. We're going to be joining it by uh, these hyphens, just like that. So we're going to say dot join by hyphens. All right. And this should take care of business. Let's see. It sure does. All right. Attempt it. See how fast this, this one goes. 38 milliseconds. All right. It's the big winner. 38 beats 44. Uh, so we're going to submit this one. Right, uh, very much like this. Let's go to my solutions, best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.